Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you a technique for your embroidery machine. I have an Innov a Brother Innovis 4000D and I wanted to show you how you can add two patterns together into onto the screen at the same time in order to embroider them. So right now I'm on the main screen and I can just pick a Disney design and it doesn't matter for this demo it can be anything so once I pick my design my first design that I like I press the set button and then I can move this design around on the screen like that and you know I can move it left and right using the arrows here I can rotate it and stuff like that. So once you um, have the first design in somewhat the position you want it in, the, the main thing to remember is, is that it always puts the design, the next design, right in the middle. And sometimes it get, you can have a hard time picking one or the other because they're on top of each other. So sometimes I'll just move the one out of the way until I get the other one, ones on the screen that I want. So I press edit end, and that brings me back to the main screen. Now I'm not done yet, so now I want to add another thing. So maybe I want to put, I want to put letters on there or initials, and I can pick an alphabet and a letter, and you can see how it kind of lays the letter on top of the Mickey. So that's why I said sometimes you have to move it off the side. So I press set again, and now I can move this letter. Now especially you want to get the letters out of the way because the next letter is going to end up right on top. So I press, um, I have that approximately where I want it. I press edit end. Oops. I meant to do the letters here. And I'm just going to put two letters. picked my second letter and I'll press set and now I'm going to move this one down. Now the hard part especially with letters is getting them lined up so they're not out of whack and I found it's easiest to pick them and then you, you line them up like the first one I had with the with the, the red line was hidden and the second one is there. With, or when I did this one, the red line is hidden. So they're like they should be along the same line right there. And I can always move Mickey around some more. So then when I'm done, I press edit end and then you go nor as normal, you click sewing and now your design is ready to go. And if you don't like how, how it's lined up, those do kind of seem like they're not lined up properly. You can always go back and edit and select and move them. And it might be better to line them up from the top. E each letter is can be a different size and everything. You can also zoom in, which can also help a lot. So with this zoom button. And that can help you line up. It can be really hard to line up the letters on the screen. Um, but it, if you don't have em other embroidery software, then you can do this on your machine and get, get pretty good results. I've done it before and done letters and had them turn out pretty nicely. Did you like this video? Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel because we post new videos on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Visit our website needlepointers.com for more free machine embroidery projects and information.